you can be an editor and you can be a writer and you can be a professor if you want to and that's great but don't feel like those are your only options there's so many things that you can do and it just all depends on where you want to go hi this is jessica winston professor of english and i'd like to welcome you to the first in our occasional YouTube series on English major futures. Today, I'm talking with Georgia Dudley, who graduated from Idaho State in 2007 with double majors in English and political science. Soon after graduation, she was hired by a local bank in their lending department, and she's been involved in lending at multiple banks in the Western United States ever since. She's currently team manager at Idaho First Mortgage in Idaho Falls. A brief note, due to a technical glitch, the audio and video feed are slightly out of sync. If there's a particular topic you're interested in, please check out the timestamps and topics in the video description below. Here's my discussion with Georgia. I graduated from Pocatello High School and English was something that I always enjoyed. I enjoyed literature and writing. So English was a foregone conclusion for my major. I knew that ISU had a strong English program and what I was going to do with it after kind of had yet to be determined when I started as a freshman, it developed into something that I never could have possibly imagined. I was already married when I was in the English program. When I graduated, I actually got into lending in 2008. We stayed in Pocatello for a few years while my husband finished his degree. We had a baby. We moved to Phoenix, Arizona, and I continued in lending there. My husband's job transferred us from Phoenix to Sacramento. So we were in Sacramento for five years, and we had another baby while we were there. A couple of years ago, we were able to transfer back to Idaho, and we've been here ever since. So when I started in lending, I was hired to be a loan underwriter for car dealers, transitioned into underwriting for branch loans. So that's more like credit cards and RVs and things like that. I was asked to develop a different kind of lending. We did home equity lines of credit. So I managed the equity team for three years. At that point, I moved into management and I have been in management and lending since then. When I interviewed with Idaho Central, when I first graduated, I it was totally a shot in the dark. I assumed that I would need to have a degree in finance or business or something that would seem applicable to lending or banking, right? The hiring manager was actually looking for someone with an English degree. I was selected over people that had degrees in business and finance because of my English degree. And that's because the communication skills are often much stronger. The writing skills are very clear. And generally, we're highly analytical, like when we're assessing texts and things like that. The skills that I developed in English was, was obviously the writing, but also the analytics. I'm looking for the minor details, the things that most people would just gloss right over. Those are great strengths in, in lending, and those are the things that I learned to hone when I was in the English department. I was invited to, to start this new department when I worked in California. And part of that was that I had to write and develop policy and procedure for those loans. On top of the writing of all those things, leadership skills are really interesting. I had to learn very quickly how to develop those skills because when I got put into management, I was given this team and this new department and I had 15 people that were reporting to me now and I really had not done that so much before. When I would give feedback to my team, it had to be clear, concise, well-supported, all of those things that I learned in English. It's really interesting how all of it translated to what I do professionally because, you know, I, I didn't think that that would be applicable in management and leadership, but it really is because when you're writing a, re a review, an annual review for someone, you have to come in with some kind of basis for the, the information that you're giving, the feedback that you're giving, the rating that you're giving on, on their review. So I really have to be careful with how I word things, the, even the order in which I place a statement in a document, all of that comes into play. So you really learn how to, how to utilize those skills that I was taught in the English department. When I meet with my team, I do one-on-ones with them regularly, and I kind of, I want to be able to reward them in a way that makes sense to them. 
So learning how to read people and paying attention to the little nuances in, in their behavior and the things that they say in their one-on-ones and things like that, you know, all of that really impacts how I do my job. And, and I learned a lot of that, like in my Shakespeare classes and Jane Austen, and you learn really what, how people think and what they like, and you learn how to um, reach them on a personal level, which is exactly how an effective manager or leader would, would be able to do that. When I started English, I felt like I would be pigeonholed into one particular um, field. And it was, you know, anytime I told somebody I was an English major, oh, so you're going to be a teacher. Maybe, (laughs) you know, you don't have to do that. It's amazing to me how versatile the English degree is. And I think that sometimes when people start as freshmen and they declare English as their major, they're like, okay, well, I can only work in in writing or I can only work in education or that's really not the case. Um, Really it opens doors that you can't imagine. It's every bit as versatile and sometimes more powerful than a business degree. Um, I think that right now the world says that, you know, math and science and engineering is where it's at. That's fine. That's true. But I will tell you on a personal level that my degree in English has gotten me much further than a lot of my friends that did business or law or engineering. My role is vastly different and my, my level of responsibility, my enjoyment of my job financially, it has paid dividends that most people would never assume an English major would have. So I would counsel that they not feel like they're going to be stuck in one particular thing. You can do whatever you want with this degree. It's a powerful tool that you have. And if you are a strong writer and communicator, you can go anywhere. Truthfully, I've hired more people who didn't have any background in lending or business. um, And they have done tremendously well in the positions where I've hired them. And honestly, when it comes down to effectiveness in their role, more often than not, it's it's the person with the English or literature degree that does better. But when it comes to literature and English and writing, you know, these are the people that get really down into the nitty gritty. They're really defending their their loan decision and how they're doing it, why they're doing it. So those are the things that I pay attention to when I'm interviewing someone. When it comes down to it, I really look to see how they're interacting with me. If there's someone who seems like they could take direction, but be able to think through it on their own and more often than not, someone who has a degree in English or literature is going to be far more analytical on a deeper level, and they generally just do better. All right, that's Bye. Thank you so much.